Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a very practical and social feature in Life RPG that I think you will like. This feature is what I call multiplayer mode. By the way, for those of you who are new here, Life RPG is a game fight productivity system inspired by solo leveling, hosted on an app called Notion as a template. Life RPG helps you to visualize your efforts and daily growth in the form of a game. So you have features like rank, leveling up here, you can do quest, and then there are also rewards for each successful quest that you do, and also uh, penalties if you fail your quest, okay? So all of these are part of the Life RPG system inside this template, okay? Over 500 plus people are already using this template and they are loving it. So if you'd like to get a copy of your own, the link is in the video description. Now, let's get to the template itself and I'll show you a complete walkthrough on how to make use of multiplayer mode in Life RPG. Okay? Now, first things first, what you want to do is to invite the person that you want to collaborate with to your Life RPG page. To do so, all you need to do is head over to the top right corner over here and click on share and then type in the email of the person that you want to invite. For example, when I type in test, you can see that Notion has kindly suggested a couple of email domains here and you can just uh, type in enter. And then there's an option over here. If you click on it, a couple of selections here, all you need to do is just uh, click on full access or leave it be as it is. And then before you click on invite, you can also send a message to your invitee. Okay, and then click on invite. Once you click on invite, you will be prompted to upgrade guest to member. And for the vast majority of you, just click on skip for now. Okay, click on it. And voila, your invited person will be able to access your Life RPG page. Okay, and now that you know how to invite someone to your Life RPG page, let's have a look at the player section over here. Okay. So what we have here are two player pages. We have Song Jing Wu and also Cha He In. Now you can leave these two pages as it is, or you can also sort them according to whatever you want. For example, let's say I want to sort them according to their level. So what I can do is click on the sort icon over here. So you need to actually hover for it to appear. So click on it and then select level. And I'm going to select descending because I want the player with the highest level to be at the top. I'm going to click on save for everyone. And there you go. Now the player with the highest level will be at the top and the rest follows along. Okay. Now I think this kind of sorting according to level would be very, very useful for you and your friends or your partner. If you guys are the, the competitive type and like to have an internal leaderboard. Yeah. So maybe you can just change the player over here, I rename it to leaderboard. Okay. Now you can see those who work the hardest will be at the top and the rest who slack off will be at the bottom. Okay. Like, isn't this so cool? Now, the other things that you can do, for example, let's say I want to group players according to something. Let's say team A and team B. To create a group, I can just click on any player page over here and then click on more properties. So I'm going to create a new property. Yeah. I'm going to click on add a property and I'm going to uh, use the select property over here. Then I'm going to rename it to group. And then I'm going to bring this property all the way up to the top over here. And then Sang Jing Wu, like I said earlier, it's going to be on team A. I'm going to create it. Then I'm going to Cha Hei In's page. And Cha Hei In is going to be on team B. Okay. Now, now that we have them according to uh, groups, what we can do to uh, actually see which group they are, we can go to settings and then click on properties. Click on group over here. So now we can see which group they are in, okay? But this looks kind of basic, right? So what you can do, again, is go to the settings and then go to the group option over here. Click on group and then select the group property that we created earlier. And if you click on it, Voila, you can see that each team members are according, uh, group according to their team, like so. So imagine yourself having like five 
members per team, you can see them clearly in a view like this. Okay. If you don't want to have this view, you can also create a new uh, database view over here. Okay. So you can click on plus and let's say it's going to be a board over here. Okay. And there you go. You can see that which team members are within which team over here. Okay. And you can also uh, like fill in the properties over here, like class can go with level and so on, so on. Okay. Like, isn't this so, so cool? Like notion is super amazing, isn't it? Like you can seriously customize your life RPG template into whatever you want to tailor to your own workflow. Okay. Next, let's have a look at the class section. Okay. Now we have the class section. Okay. So there are multiple classes over here that I have created. A class can have single player or multiple players in it. Okay. So we have, for example, entrepreneur here, have uh, Sung Jin Woo and Cha Hee In, while athlete has Sung Jin Woo, chef has Cha Hee In, and another similar class, athlete, is for Cha Hee In too. Okay. So if we take a look at entrepreneur class over here, you can see that there are two player pages linked to it. If you want to unlink the player, you can just simply click on unlink page over here, click on it, and click unlink both of them. And then if you want to add a player, you can just click on uh, the add player option over here. Okay. Click on it and then you're going to add them both back. Okay. Now what we have here is two different classes of the same name. Okay. So we cannot have like, for example, uh, Sung Jin Woo and Chai and having the same athlete class because both of them cannot share the same experience points, right? So we have to have separate classes for each of them. Okay. Now it can be confusing if all of them are inside this one view like so. So what we can do is create a new database view like we did with the player section earlier. You can go create a new view and then select board. All right. Now this is not the view that we want. So what we can do, we can group, change the group by option over here from status, group by from status to player. Okay. Now we can see that Chai in now has four classes and Sun Jin Wu with three classes. And these are the classes that are not linked to any players. So what you can do, you can just hide them. Okay. Click on hide group and there you go. You see it is, it is now much more cleaner. Okay. To make it more decorative, what you can do is click, click on properties over here and then select okay, goal or level and so on and so forth. Okay. And you will have something like this one. Okay, so it is much clearer and cleaner than what we have over here. Okay, so this is like a big overview of everything, whereas this one is a more focus according to the players. Okay, so again, you can also sort the classes according to level if you want or according to whatever data point that you want. Okay. So these are classes, pretty simple. Now let's move on to creating quests for multiple players. Finally, let's take a look at how multiple players can do a quest together. Now let's create a new quest. To do so, just click on this create a new quest button and it's going to immediately prompt you to create a new page or a new quest essentially. So I'm gonna type in run 20 kilometer and I'm gonna select the players. It's going to be both Sung Jin Woo and also Cha Hee In. And then I'm going to select the classes too. Now, we know previously that there are different classes with the same name, but they are linked to different players, right? And we cannot see which class belongs to who clearly like this. So what we can do is change the customized shown properties over here. We're going to hide the title and the next level properties and I'm going to select player. Okay. Now we can see clearly that this cardio class belongs to Song Jin Woo. I'm going to add it. This athlete also belongs to Song Jin Woo. Chahi in or, and also Cartier. Okay. Next, we're going to select a type. So this quest difficulty will be hard and immediately it's going to show the experience value over here. So it's 4616 and also the goal value. Okay. Now I'm going to select the karma. So this is essentially reward and penalties. So if I manage, if we, if we manage to complete this quest, we're going to watch one drama episode together. And if we fail, we're going to donate $50 to charity. And on top of that, do the Murph workout. Okay. And then you can also, uh, add a due date. I'm going to say uh, on a Wednesday 
and then you can also uh, add a reminder if you want to. Okay. Now let's have a look at what will happen if we click mark as done. We're going to see that all the the experience value will be uh, the same for all of the classes and also players. Okay. So I'm going to click mark as done, and you can see if I go to Chahai In's cardio four six one six. If I go to Song Jin Wu's cardio for 616. So yeah, now you can see that if multiple players with multiple, uh, with different classes sharing the same quest, they will share the same experience value. Okay. Now let's have a look at another example of multiple players sharing the same class. So what I have here is a pre-made quest called Trip to New York. So we have multiple players, Song Jin Wu and Cha Hee In, both sharing the same class, which is the Globe Trotter. Okay, now if we complete the quest, the experience value will be uh, distributed to only one class, but also together with both players sharing the same uh, experience value too. Okay, what's interesting uh, in this page is that you can uh, add a content inside here. You can add like uh, images if you want. You can add files. You can like uh, discuss whatever you want over here. Things that collaborative people do in a collaborative document. Okay guys, so that is how you can utilize multiplayer mode in Life RPG. I hope you like what you saw and I hope you'll find this multiplayer mode feature a useful tool to make your life and the people who are close to you more fun and productive. Thanks so much for watching and for your support. Check the description for more info. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.